Hello friends! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before we start, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon, thanks. Meghan Markle has been criticized by an expert for a useless gesture which gives her dead eyes. And it has been noted that the Duchess of Sussex has only used the look since she met Harry. Meghan Markle has been mocked by an expert for a useless gesture she began performing after meeting Prince Harry. The Duchess of Sussex, it said of began using the weird gesture in public to signal that she was feeling nervous, uncomfortable, or lacking in confidence. Such a claim comes from body language expert Dr. Louise Muller, who said that it was clear Meghan had received no guidance from palace insiders on how the gesture would be perceived by members of the public. It is a gesture that Dar Muller believes gives the Duchess a dead-eyed look, with the expert fuming at the useless gesture, as per reports. The body language expert said, Harry is somebody who obviously has low self-esteem. He talks constantly about being ginger, I'm a ginger the whole time as though that's a problem. And then he talks about his heartbreak, and you hear to this day that his voice breaks. Megan constantly talks about freedom, I must be free, 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 or Oh look, there's my favorite song about freedom. She accentuates that freedom is her core value, and he is a very heartbroken sad man. This comes as the Sussexes were spotted together for the first time since Harry's bombshell memoir. Spare was published in early January. The couple was spotted in a video from the star-studded party for their neighbors and close friends Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi, who renewed their marriage vows. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were seen in the background celebrating and cheering as celebrity Kris Jenner officiated the renewals. It is the first time that the couple has been seen together since appearing at the RFK Ripple of Hope Award in New York in December. Meghan has been keeping an unusually low profile compared to her husband, who carried out a worldwide media tour for his memoir. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please, share your personal opinion with us in the comments section below. Thank you.